a few questions I've had lately around how can I see what what things have changed in my schedule? Um, there are a couple columns you can use to uh, monitor your activities. Let me say not monitor, but let's say audit. You can audit your activities to see who has um, added them or edited them because we've had some questions about auditing a schedule for changes. So I'm going to show you a little bit uh, what we can do. I'm going to add a new column to my layout here. And under the general tab, I'm going to add this added by date and added by. Just throw those down at the bottom. I'm also going to add last modified by and last modified date. <clears throat> So we're still waiting for some sort of auditing uh, tool or some sort of tracking ability in P6 where we could see if somebody went into my schedule and made a change. Um, we don't have that yet because there's so many different things that could be changed, right? Unfortunately, we don't have that. Um, but you know, I was talking to another client recently. There is a there is a tool that does a little bit of auditing at the database level. Um, I believe it's called Audit A U D I I T, and you can look that up if you're interested. Audit, um, and it tracks things at the at the database level to tell you what has changed in your schedule and who did it. Um, unfortunately, it's super expensive. Um, so they're, they're going after a certain kind of client, client and it's way too much money. But in terms of auditing, we can at least go by the, the added by and the added date. So we can see who added these activities to the schedule. Um, and that can be handy. And we can also check out the last modified by and the last modified date. So you can see that these activities here came from January 30th, 2018. Probably that's when the schedule was imported, but these activities up here were added on July 3rd, um, modified, last modified on July 3rd. So there's a little bit of auditing you can do in P6. Um, oh look, this one's April. So this one was changed, modified in April. Um, but in terms of what has changed and, and what is modified for, so for example, where are those activities that I put the uh, constraints on? So these ones I put constraints on, right? But the modified date didn't get updated. So, um, you know, to me, I think the modif what's modified is probably your durations. So if I change my duration to 11 days, then I get an, a modified date. But for constraints, it didn't seem to register anything. Um, so there is a little bit of auditing in P6, but we definitely need to have some better auditing and hopefully we get a solution for that soon. Hey, Evan from Plan Academy here. Hope you liked that video. If you did, feel free to give it a like down below. It really helps out the channel and we appreciate it. Also, you can subscribe if you haven't already to make sure you stay in the loop. Speaking of staying in the loop, have you checked out our website, planacademy.com? If you want to check that out, it's right here at the end of all of our videos. Of course, you can just keep watching. See you in the next one.